Fuck yeah! What is up everybody, Mr. Raven here bringing you a giveaway and my Aviators WTF Paradise 2.0 map release. Yes, the second town is now finished in Aviators WTF Paradise and is now available for download. The link is the very first link in the description. Go download it now and I'm going to show you everything that has been added to this map since the last update and the giveaway will be at the end of this video. So please watch the whole video and wait for the fan appreciation giveaway. Okay, so let's get started. So in the first town, which most of you probably have explored a little bit, we've added three new Easter eggs that I'm not even going to go into where they could be but they're anywhere in the first town uh, we also had haunt add his little character here and he's sitting there all nicely on the mountain like this is my mountain and that's my NPC sucking my dick okay so now let's warp to town 2 which we have been working the last three weeks on so it's pretty fucking badass so you're gonna get off the train from town 1 to town 2 and this town has one two three four five six interactive adventure maps in one town so you don't have to download six different maps to have six different adventures. So let me go into what this town all includes. So the first thing is a, a game that Haunt made up called Hide and Go Gortame. It's basically a hide and go seek maze game where the person that's it waits outside the maze for 30 seconds and comes into the maze in F1 mode so they can't see the player's names through the maze. And you basically gotta hide and if you get found, the guy that's finding you is gonna kill you. And that's when you're out of the game. So it's, it's like a hide and go seek slash tag mini game there's lots of little hidden compartments and different ways to hide in this maze so you'll probably have hours of fun exploring that because i know we pr probably played it like five six hours in the last two three days we've been procrastinating on that okay and now this this jail was made by big mac this is a prison it's completely interactive it's fucking awesome if you want to shoot machinimas or anything this is the place to go especially if you want to do something with an interactive jail now we have 1v1 pvp in here and it's kind of gladiator based you both enter, there's no way to get out unless you kill the other man. Uh, there's redstone pistons that push the people up when they're ready to compete. And now, I have a few pride and joys that I'm going to save for the very end. This is the Hunger Games, and that is my PvP arena. So first we're going to show you the Spleef, and we'll save the best two for last. So this is Pyramid Spleef, and uh, it's a two-level uh, Spleef. So this isn't the only level. There's one more right below it, and if you fall through both, you hit... Oh, somebody broke this. You hit lava down there. And uh, it's really badass. We've, we've actually played it quite a few times already. Uh, we never get bored of playing in our own adventures. I don't know why. It's just, it's they're a lot of fun. So like when you download this map, if you would put it on your private server or if you just put it on your single player world and, and open it up to your friends that live with you or maybe your brother or sister, it's a lot of fun. You can have a lot of fun playing on these maps. But okay, let's get to the Lunar Hunger Games. This is actually called Lunar Survival. And you guys may have seen it in a video, but we've added so much since then. So basically there's a lot of secret rooms in here. Uh, we now have piston activated uh, starting, so when you flip that switch, everyone rises from the ground and gets to take off. And we added a new dome over here. It is called the Lunar Launch Pad. And basically this rocket is having problems. It's spitting lava out everywhere. And there's interactive stuff with the rocket. There's interactive stuff inside these mountains. All the chests are filled in all these map in all these adventures I'm going to show you guys. Every chest is filled, so right when you download the map, you can play. You don't have to mess around with filling the chests. And uh, let's go, go in here. This is now like an apocalyptic type of city, uh, like pre or post-apocalyptic. So it's supposed to look really deserted, and there's some bows and arrows in this city alone. So if you're looking for a bow and arrow, come here. That's where they're going to be. And walk to this back mountain. Not a lot of people see this, but there's a ladder up here that can bring you to the top of the mountain, and you can really pick some people off. And I will tell you guys, since you're watching this video, there is an Easter egg inside that water fountain. So, maybe go check that out. <laughs> and, okay, so this is the Lunar Forest, and it's really barren, but we added two cavern systems to it now, so you can kind of not be in the open land, or like open wasteland if you do get trapped by, like, another competitor. So uh, keep that in mind that you can escape always through the caverns. Okay, now the final thing, the thing I worked on completely by myself. I built this whole fucking thing, except Steve, or Haunt, beautified the outside. But let me show you guys, this is fucking awesome. It's PvP Capture the Flag. It is called the Trench, because a trench separates the two teams. Now, this map um, includes two castle systems, or two castle bases. It has the trench, it has two domes, they're biodomes with like trees and forests in them. It's got an underground sewer system, and obviously two flag bases. So let me show you first the, the biodomes, or the tree domes, or whatever you want to call it. So. You're supposed to play this map at night. These get really dark. 
there's one way in each dome to get up to the top and there's a chest in here and like I said they're all stacked already so it's pretty sweet you can just reinstall the map and play again and again and again now the trench you have to parkour basically to get across to the other side so it's not too hard but imagine if people are shooting arrows at you from the tops of these buildings and you get hit you're gonna fall in the water or worse fall in the lava and die now if you fall in the water you can swim to these ladders up here and get back on but it's gonna be really hard because the other team could pin you or they could just get up on land and start shooting at you when you're swimming the trench now let me show you what one of the bases look like inside because they're pretty much identical we have arrow turrets down here and uh, up here also um, let's get in here now when you're in the base there's only a way in, but no, or there's a way out, but, god damn it, there's a way out, get, get in it. There's a way out, but no way in. So see, the enemy team can't just bum rush your base and get in and start killing you guys. But they can go around the back of your building and use these ladders to climb up here and then drop down in this hole to kill you guys. So you don't have a lot of time to camp. I wanted to make this map non-campable, but okay, so each base has three ways to get into the sewers. Uh, here's your flag. You gotta protect your flag, and to win this game, you have to capture the team, the other team's flag, and set it next to your flag. Both flags have to be present to win. Now you start out with a bow, some arrows, some armor, and food. No sword, because those are hidden throughout the map. Now let me show you what the sewer systems look like. So you go in here, and there's multiple ways in and out. But I'm gonna go this way because I know the way to my own map. No, I don't. I'm going the wrong way. I know that. <laughs> Shit. Okay, let's go this way. I think this is the way. Nope. Am I? Uh, damn it! I don't even know the own way. Oh, here it is. This is it. Yes. Okay. So in these, uh, what what are these? In these sewers, there are basically a few hidden chests. Um, this red wool means you're at the halfway point. As you can see, the blocks change. Now I'm on enemy territory. I just crossed the trench, and now you know you're in unfriendly territory, and there could be enemies down any corner and any corridor. So you got to be really careful. But once you get into the enemy base, there's three ways to get in. So you can take whatever alleyway looks most promising. And you can come and take the flag and take back to your base. So yeah, um, there's a whole bunch of hidden chests, like I said. There's a whole bunch of cool items hidden around here. Uh, there's even chests inside some of these tall trees. And this map is always being updated, you guys, but this is the second update. Please go download it. Like I said, it's the very first link down below. And um, I'd really appreciate it because we work so hard. And you're probably wondering when this server is going to go public. We're hoping for a November 1st completion date with the four towns which we got to work really hard to get that done but we're hoping we're just like hoping hoping that november 1st so that way in november when black ops and halo and stuff is out you guys can at least if you're if you're not into those games and there's no good games out for you you can at least come on the server and enjoy all these these maps we just have to set it up to where they auto reset themselves and i have to get a really good plug-in guy in here so yeah that's the thing now let's get to the giveaway Okay, so I'm giving away Battle of the Sexes, Long Sleeve T-Shirt, a T-Shirt, and a water bottle of the Battle of the Sexes. And as you can see, the pictures are flashing on your screen now. Um, you get to choose from one of them, so in the comment section down below, this is what you have to do to win. Just comment which one you want, and tell me if you download the map or not. You don't have to download the map to win, but just, just tell me, because I'd like to know how many of you did. And, just leave a like on the video, that is it. So like and comment which one you want and if you download the map. That is all you have to do to win these. And if you want to buy them, I will link the Spreadshirt store. I am making zero dollars off of all of these. I set it to the lowest price because Spreadshirt fucks people until I can find a good place to host my, my Battle of the Sexes clothing line. <laughs> but I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and I hope you enter for the giveaway. And uh, good luck. Until next time, remember to take it easy. Live and squeeze it.